Hello again. We're back. Uh, let's see here. Got this all drained out. Got it all filtered through. So this is now nice and dry. As dry as possible. Still damp. Not totally dry. So this is all of our gold that we've collected. Fair amount. See it all there. A little bit of green stuff in there, but not bad. Not bad overall. Pretty decent amount of gold there. Now, this next part, that's the gold from uh, three filters. First that we put in the jar. Then our second filter and our third filter. And that's all together. All the gold together is here, which is not bad. Not a bad yield. Now, this next part, you want to wear gloves. We're going to uh, dissolve the gold in a form of aqua regia. We're going to mix muriatic acid and bleach. Wear gloves, safety goggles, mask if you have preferred. Um, I'm not a pro, just do this as a hobby, but you still need to be careful. Um, when you mix these two chemicals together, you're going to create um, uh, basically um, a gas that is very toxic and uh, noxious. So, uh, like I said, always definitely wear gloves. Very corrosive. Like I said, it will dissolve gold. It will dissolve skin and eyeballs and fingers and everything else. So. First thing we want to do is get as much of this into your jar, like so. Just shake it off. Rub it together a little bit, break it loose. Shake as much off as you can into your jar, okay? Then what I like to do, just to get every drop possible, I will use muriatic, muriatic acid to rinse off my filter. This is why you wear gloves, because you're going to be pouring directly onto your fingers. So just like you did with the, uh, um, the water, you're going to use muriatic acid or hydrochloric acid. Same thing, same product, just different names. And you're going to do this to get all of your gold off of your filter and into the jar to dissolve it because you're mixing muriatic acid and bleach so you rinse it with acid there you have it all the gold is off the filter and you will smell this so a little bit more and squeeze. Get every drop out of there that you possibly can. Throw that away. Wipe your gloves off. Wipe the jar off. So now you have your gold is in just acid at this point. It will not dissolve in acid alone. Now you don't need a lot of bleach to do this. Very small amount. Your, uh, your muriatic acid and uh, peroxide is roughly, some people use two to one. I like three to one, three parts acid, one part peroxide. Your bleach you want no, no less than a five to one, you know, just very, very little bit is all you need to start this process. And uh, as soon as you do this, you want to have it covered. It will create a gas and it will get stinky, but it will almost immediately start to, uh, it will start to dissolve the gold. The bigger pieces will take longer, obviously. So this is the gold that we have from those pieces. I'm going to now put in just a little bit of Clorox bleach. That's it. And you will 
see this gold start to go away. Water will turn a yellowish color. That yellow color is liquid gold. Once you do this process, once you start this process, do not spill any liquid at all. Any liquid spilled is gold lost. Just add, keep this agitated. Now this particular uh, chemical mixture does not like heat. You will evaporate the Clorox, the bleach off of the uh, out of the out of the acid. It needs the bleach to react. So heat will cause that to dissipate out of your acid. At, uh, reaction will stop, and you will stop dissolving gold. So you want this kept cold. You can do this outside. Cold weather is the best place to do it. Unlike the muriatic acid and uh, hydrogen peroxide loves heat. Reaction is, is better, better, better with more and more heat. This cold, cold, cold. So we'll let all that, you can see this gold disappearing, it is now in liquid form. You basically have liquid gold. Once this is all dissolved, filter that again, get all the chunks that are in there, it's like pieces of plastic off the boards, stuff like that. You don't want that in there when you're going to drop gold. You want this as clean as possible, the cleanest you can get. Getting another jar ready to uh, do my fil my final filter in. Have another have another jar here with a little bit of gold in it for an another process. So let me get that out of there. Get that ready to go. I'm gonna start collecting everything in one big jar. towels just to dry this out. You don't want any any water in here, as little as possible, but you don't really want any water in there at all. And you want your jar as clean as possible. No foreign objects, metals, nothing else. You just want your liquid that you're going to drop the gold from. Now even after you drop the gold, do not throw it away. Like I said, you even your, your uh, acid peroxide mixture will have other metals in it that you can drop. Um, there is a possibility there's even trace gold in there. Uh, but this mixture will have uh, obviously not this one. This one is a very clean very clean uh, mix of just gold but others could have silver. Um, you use the same liquid you can dissolve the silver buttons that I have here from your cell phones. These are on the keyboards. You can dissolve all this silver in the same liquid and then drop that. So do not ever throw it away. This, this liquid will hold gold, silver, platinum, palladium. So do not throw that away. But those require additional steps. This is the easiest one to start with. Uh, to do the other other metals, you need other chemicals. You need to neutralize the acids. And there's still some gold in there on the bottom. So that is not ready to uh, be filtered yet. You can see some gold floating around in there. Bigger pieces have not finished dissolving yet. So we will let that go and uh, come back to it. And 
it's just about done now. But you can see that yellow color. That is gold. Okay, I am now going to filter this. Clean out my funnel. I was black and getting that out, getting the water out of there. Do that. New filter. this out. Remove that filter. Now you still have liquid in this jar. It is not, you do not want to throw away. Rinse this out with more bleach. Do not use acid. Always add the bleach to the acid, not the acid to the bleach, just like your water. Only want to do that one way. So you can rinse this out and just add this to it. And even your filter. Once this is all drained all the way through, once it is completely drained through, to rinse the actual filter out, use more bleach. Bleach is cheaper than the acid anyway. And the bleach will not affect the gold content. So we'll just let that filter out. And you can see the reaction in there. See everything moving around without me stirring it? Bleach causes that reaction. Okay, folks, we're back. You can see it's just about done. So I'm going to use a little bit more bleach just to run this out. Oops. Just to rinse that any leftovers out of there into my container. Now, if you just pick the sides up on this, just a little bit. You see how cloaky that runs out. It's still going through the filter, but it just runs through the filter faster when it's pulled off the sides. And squeeze this dry. You want every drop out of this that you can get. It will contain gold. We got that cleaned out. That should be out. And there you have it. Liquid gold. I'm gonna take this glove off. Move this down here. You can see that yellow color. That is gold. Now this one, I have another one here, same thing. So you can see how that one's kind of greener. This one has other, other metals in it. This is not a pure, pure dissolved gold. You can see the difference in color. So you can tell this one has some other, has some uh, copper in it, some other metals. It's not pure gold. This one is yellow, pure gold. Do not spill a drop. 